Hey, what's up guys? This is the lead Don, and today I'll be showing you how to fix your blue screen that you get when you open up Adobe CC products. Now, this only occurs when you open up Photoshop, After Effects, and Premiere Pro. Uh, I have found two solutions that are temporary at the moment. Uh, there is no permanent solution because this is Nvidia's fault, and until they release a driver that fixes it, this is the best you could get. And that's pretty much it. Without any further ado, let's get started with the first solution. Alright, the first solution requires you to roll back your NVIDIA graphics card driver to version 359.00. Link to the driver will be in the description. With that being done, you will not receive blue screens anymore. But you might have some promise with two games. Just Cause 3 and Rainbow Six Siege since the latest drivers address some issues with those games. Another thing is, the second switching doesn't fix Premiere Pro, so make a choice wisely. Premiere Pro or the game. Now if you own one of those two games but don't use Premiere Pro, then let's get started with the second solution. The second solution is basically deleting the file that causes the blue screen. For Photoshop, the file is called sniffer.exe, and for After Effects, it's called GPU Sniffer. You can find these in the installation folder where you install the program as you can see I installed it in the program files Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CC and the same for After Effects except for After Effects it's in support files anyways it's rumored that Photoshop and After Effects recreate this file when the computer reboots which I highly doubt because I've done it and it's not come back for me but if it comes back from the dead for you, just simply move it to the desktop and you should be fine. After you've done that, go to your desktop and right click the desktop. Click on the video control panel. On the upper left hand corner, click on manage 3D settings. Then click on program settings. Make sure all your Adobe programs are running on the high performance NVIDIA processor. If it's not in the program list, just simply click add and find the location of the program which will likely be, uh, let me see, it will be program files and Adobe and just search for the program file in the folders. Then just click add and hit apply and that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. I mean, it doesn't work for Premiere Pro because Premiere Pro relies on a GPU sniffer process for it to get started. But those are the two temporary solutions at the moment. Like I said, until NVIDIA rolls out that driver fix. I hope you guys liked the video. Like it if it helped you out. Dislike it if it didn't work at all. And if you'd like to see more of my YouTube content, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.